As Scott said, I'm Melinda Dittmer, the COO of Nexus 360. Over the last several generations, we have built a significant supply chain related to agriculture. This was built to handle large quantities of crops and to make it very efficient. But this efficiency does not always serve the people that are the ones providing the services to the supply chain, the farmers and the consumers on the backside. The next generation is demanding that our crops are traceable back to a farm, that we reduce food waste, that we increase food safety, and we reduce our carbon footprint. And our farmers are trying to find more profitable ways to grow crops and to have access to new markets, as well as having less handling and safer storage options. At Nexus 360, we feel that we can address all of these needs and the consumer demands. By taking something fixed and making it mobile, um, we believe that we can solve a lot of those needs. So our solution is the next box. The next box is filled at the field or at the farm level, and the crop stays in the box until it reaches its final destination. Our box is fixed at four inches tall and 40 foot long, which holds about 1,200 bushels of corn. This video shows the box being loaded at the farm level. Sorry, you can't see that very well. Um, or in this example, you can load it from a grain bin. Um, and the other big component of the box is that we will track the data for that crop. So we will have a QR code on the box that's accessible by the buyer and by the farmer so that all of the data that went into the crop production and the quality specs of the crop in that box can be sent to the buyer. Today this can't be done because all crops are commingled at the large elevators and in the grain bins um, for traditional crops. So as I said, there's a lot of benefits to taking something fixed and making it mobile. Some of those include compatibility. So the boxes can be loaded onto rail cars, they can be taken over trucks, they can be taken on over the river. Um, we can create blockchains so that that data and all the information about that crop is given from the field clear to the buyer at the back end. And then profitability. So today, as we've learned, especially as we've been spending our time down here in the south, there's not the ability for farmers to grow a lot of crops if there's not producers or processors in that area that can take those crops. And so a lot of times they have to take their crops to whatever's closest to their farm via truck. We want to change that and bring profitability back to farms while also meeting the consumer demands. So as I said, the crop data is a big part of what we want to offer. And this is very important as we get into specialty crops and organics and creating new markets for farmers so that they can get more profitability instead of just raising commodity crops that go through our traditional supply chains. So our Nexus 360 platform is what we want to do is bring together farmers and buyers. And we will do that by having a box that can be rented by the farmer. So they will not be having to pay for the boxes. We will rent them on a on-demand type system. And we will also create backhauls. So our goal is to create repeatable closed loops so that we have the continued loop with one crop and we can have backhauls so that we're not shipping empty containers across the country as well. So where we want to start at is with organic and specialty crops and seed production. So we want to hit the crops first that are high value and we feel that there's a biggest, the biggest need for traceability. Um, that production over the next five years, um, we hope to capture about 10% of that. We also know that these boxes and this solution and our process works very well for commodity crops, but we wanna start with the place where we know that we can get the value out of the data. So our growth strategy is to continue to test. We've got our prototypes done. We wanna test those this year. We want to determine where our locations are going to be. We're calling those next pads where we will have areas where we bring boxes together and we can store them, we can clean them, we can dry them. Um, and over the next five years, we also want to continue to work on those loops and finalize our blockchain components of this. Um, we also want to put cold into the next boxes to use them for produce. So our team is, has significant experience in ag. My personal story is that I grew up on a farm in southern Iowa, spent 20 years at John Deere, and about a year and a half ago, 
did this crazy thing and left the safe walls of John Deere and gave up this thing that was really cool called a paycheck. Um, <laughs> because I really believe strongly in bringing profitability back to farming. And I hope that you'll all join us as we try to do that. Um, we're currently raising our $2 million seed round. And what that's gonna do is get us through testing, production, engineering of those boxes, and continue to build out the right markets. We really wanna thank Ag Launch and all the, the partners that we've met down here over the last five weeks. This has been an experience that you know, none of us ever would have had um, coming from the world that I came from and just getting to know everyone down here, we really appreciate it. So thank you very much.